So uh, this is Art. Art, how, how old are you, Art? I'm 90 years old. 90 years old, and born, you don't yeah. don't look 90. Born in 1929. 1929. And been in Los Angeles for 70 years. Yeah, that's it. Wow. So, so what's it? So how how does it feel? You know, when you uh, you see so much change over time, and uh, you know you saw the civil rights movement and everything else. And uh, how do you compare it now to what it was like in L.A. in the 1950s? Well, in the 50s, well, I, it still was better than Arkansas. So that's one of the main reasons why I came, to get a better education. The schools in Little Rock were not integrated, but they were here. So they didn't integrate into Arkansas until 57 when I was not sending troops there. Hmm. So what, what makes you, you keep working, you know, every day? Because that's a necessity. You can't work for 50 and 70 years and then just sit down and do nothing. The body used to be inactive, mm. and you just cut it, cut it off. I've known too many people that passed away quickly because they decided that they weren't going to do it anymore. I worked all my life. But mm. I work, but I only work three days a week. Mm. You know, huh. have something to keep keep yourself active. I never would have guessed. I never would have guessed you was ninety. I, I still, I still don't halfway believe you. <laughs> a lot of people don't don't feel bad. <laughs> so I, mean, I feel good over with people feeling that way. Yeah, yeah. So, so what what was your secret to uh, staying young all these years? Well, the first thing I always say, I give credit to the good Lord. He blessed me. The other thing is, I never drink. I never smoke. And the gentlemen I work with, the guys I work with. They ask me why I never drink. I tell them I never been old enough. <laughs> oh well, uh, never been old enough. Is that yeah. you said? <laughs> I, I like you know you know. But I used to say that too. I used to say that I feel like I'm not old enough to walk into a liquor store. Yeah. I, I still I go in there with my friends because I don't drink either. Yeah. But uh, I would go in there and I say I I can't help but feel like I'm too young to be in. <laughs> yeah, so. So I guess my, the last question I want to ask you is, is there any, uh, you got so much wisdom from all these years. What advice would you give a young black man or just any young person about life? Well, I don't know. The first thing I tell them is don't take things for granted. I mean, you got to, whatever you want, you got to work at it. And, you know, you got to put forth an effort to let, you know, make it worthwhile. You, you know, you're working to get it. I mean, just don't just say, well, I'm, I'm, you know, I got it made. You don't have it made. It. Even I don't care how old you get, you still got to try and uh, stay ahead of the, you know, what's happening in the world. Mm, mm. Yeah. Well, we was talking about uh, um, like the Amazon thing, and and uh, and I heard you say that they don't look out for the little man. You know, companies don't look out for the little man. So it seems like you you're really into the. The news and stuff like that. Is that is that what you what, what kind of stuff do you like to do? Well, I, I mean myself, I like you know things where people like have a chance to move up to advance in whatever job they own, where they can advance. They don't want to get into a job where you just stuck there at that same spot from the day you start to the time you leave, mm. and you, you want to stay active. Mm. Yeah, this is America here. You know? Oh, okay, all right. So uh, thank you very much, man. It was great talking to you, sir. My, my pleasure. I appreciate your wisdom. All right. Thank you.